introduce myself? I'm your Google Assistant. Don't you wish your Samsung watch could do that? Well, I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way to install the Google Assistant on your Samsung ties and watches. This will work on most of the newer watches. So you're active, you're active too. The Gear S3, of course, the Galaxy Watch 46 millimeter that I have here. Let me know down in the comments below which one you got this installed on. Now again, special shout out to the developer for making this possible. I'll leave his information in my description below. Since my original review, the Google platform has changed a little bit and some of you have gotten kind of confused about that. So I'm just gonna show you how to install the Google Assistant using the new cloud platform interface. It still is pretty easy. If you don't get it at first, you know what they say, try, try again, watch the video, watch it maybe two or three times. It is very easy. Just take your time with it. And if not, again, just go through it one more time. Maybe follow the process a little bit slower because it is a simple install but it's just a fun way to get the Google Assistant on your Samsung Galaxy Watch. Who's the President of the United States? The President of the United States of America is Donald Trump. What's the tallest building in New York City? Tallest buildings in New York include One World Trade Center at 1,700. Now in New York, it's 47. But it's just a quick and easy way to get the Google Assistant on your Galaxy Watch. I have a lot of connected devices. So I like to turn on lights and I wasn't able to do that with Bixby, but now I can turn off the bedroom light and you can ask it things. You can have fun with it. It's not fully integrated. So you're not going to be able to make calls from your wrist or you're not going to be able to dictate text messages, but it is just a fun little mod to get rid of Bixby from the watch. So let's get into this tutorial of how to install the Google assistant on the Samsung galaxy watch 46 millimeter. First thing you have to do is you have to go to cloud.google.com. This is Google's cloud platform and it's very important that you log into the cloud console with the same Google account that you will be using on your phone, on your watch, because otherwise it just will not work. So what you want to do, get started for free and then it's going to open up a new web page. Now you just have to accept their terms. This is Google cloud platform and you have to accept all of this. You do have to put in a credit card, but as they state here, there's no auto charge after free trial ends, so don't worry about this at all. Go to set up your free trial and it's going to continue everything for you. Now that you've set up your free account, and again, if you are nervous about it, just go into the billing section and make sure to take out automatic billing if it is checked. Now that we're all set up, again, make sure this is the same account that you will be using on your phone, on your Galaxy Watch. Go to APIs and services. Once you're in here, look at the top section. It says enable APIs and services. Click on that and it's going to enable the APIs for you. Next, what you want to do is do a search for Google Assistant, just like this. Here's the Google Assistant API. Click on it and then you want to go to enable. Click enable Google API. Now that you have the Google Assistant API here, next what you want to do is create credentials. Click on the Create Credentials tab to the right. And then the same thing with this drop down menu. You want to search for the Google Assistant API. Click on the Google Assistant API. And this is an Android tutorial, so we are going to select Android as to where we'll be calling the API from. So make sure to select Android right down here. And then you want to select User Data. Click on User Data. Next, what you want to do is go to the OAuth consent screen. Click on that from the left side here and you want to select external. Make sure to select external, not internal, and you'll be just fine. Click on create right over there. And then here you want to give this an application name. Once you're finished with the OAuth consent screen, go back to the credentials tab and then create credentials right on the top. Click on OAuth client ID. Then it's going to ask you what type of application you're setting up. Click on other. Again, give it a name. I'm just going to keep calling mine G assist. Click on create. It's going to create the key for you. Once you've created the OAuth client, click on OK. And then now right at the bottom here under OAuth 2.0 client IDs, you're going to see the ability to download your file. Click on download and this is going to download the secrets JSON file right to your computer. So the next step that you want to do is you want to transfer this file over to your phone. And by doing so, you have to plug in your USB cable 
to your phone from your computer. Now again, you can do all of this from your phone or your tablet if you want to, but I'm showing it to you on a PC just because it's a lot easier. Now that we've downloaded the JSON file to our computer, plug in your phone and here it is. Here's my V40 phone right over here. Click on open device to view. I'm gonna store this in my internal storage in the downloads folder of my actual phone. Again, you can download this anywhere you want to. Just remember where you downloaded it. Before you upload it to your phone, change the name of the file to secrets.json. Click on OK. And then find your download folder for your phone or wherever you want to transfer it over to. Transfer this secrets JSON file right over to your phone. Here it is right here. The next steps that you want to do are all on our phone. So let me transfer it to my phone and I'll show you those steps. The next thing that you want to do is go into the Galaxy Store and search for gassist.net. Again, a special shout out to the developer Camille Kierski. He did an excellent job with this Galaxy Assistant. On the Galaxy Watch, click install, search for the G Assist application. Click on install from the Google Play. So you have to get both applications, one from the Galaxy Store and one from Google Play. Once this is all installed, we'll continue with the installation process. Just double check on your wearable and make sure that it's installed before you continue, just to make things a little bit easier. Now that it's installed, you wanna go back to the Galaxy Play Store and open up gassist.net application. Check permissions, confirm on that, allow, allow. Click on next. Next, what you wanna do is search for that secrets JSON file that you renamed on your computer and transfer it over to your phone. Click on browse and you should be able to see all of your recent files. If not, just use your file manager and search for wherever you downloaded it. Click on it, you should see file loaded successfully. Click on next and then you're gonna to wanna to click on authentication. It's gonna ask you to get that code from the cloud platform. Make sure to choose the correct email address that you use to set up all of this. Otherwise, you're gonna get errors and it's just not gonna work and you're gonna get a little bit frustrated. So let's just continue. Use your Google Assistant and click on allow to let G Assist do it. It's gonna give you some sort of code here. Click on that copy button right to the right of it. Go back to your G Assist application here and then just paste that code that you copied. Hold on it, click on paste. You should see everything with a check mark. Again, if you use the incorrect Google account, you're not gonna get device configured and you're gonna get all frustrated. So again, make sure you're using the same account. And now we should be all good to go. Let's just go back to the Galaxy wearable store. Click on open. It's gonna open up the app on our watch and let's just have some fun with it. Again, you wanna allow everything. Just don't worry about these permissions. You have to allow it in order for this to work. So let's just continue. And what's the weather today? Raise the volume to 100%. It's at the highest volume. So if it is too low and you don't really get any response, make sure to tell it to raise the volume. And then if you slide your finger to the left, you have some more options here. I like to put it on a larger font personally. I like to enable auto listen on start as well. I also like to enable auto listen on resume. Row voice recognition, you wanna leave that on. There's your sound effect and vibrate. Now, if you want to enable the bottom button to open up your G Assist application, go into settings here. Let's just go into settings. And then what you want to do is go down to advanced. In advanced, you can see that you have a double press home key. Let's change that from Bixby. And I'm going to find the G Assist application right over here. So now when we double press on the bottom button, hey Google, what's the weather? Who's the president of the United States? The president of the United States of America is Donald Trump. What's the tallest building in New York City? The tallest buildings in New York include One World Trade Center at 1007. Turn on bedroom light. So this has just been a quick tutorial, guys. I hope it helped you out. If it did, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and definitely subscribe to my channel. As there's always some goodness popping up, you just never know. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.